<laughs> hey, this is Phil Lilly, Lilly's Landing Resort and Marina on Lake Taney Como. Jackson and I have come up here to look out to do one cast. It's Sunday the 11th of December. It's, we had a big rain the other day. A couple nights ago, three, about three inches, a little over three inches, and a lot of it came pretty hard. So it really muddied up the lake. Uh, this is as high as I can go in a boat with no water running. And when I, when I stopped the boat up here, I noticed a lot of fish darting around close to the surface as I set the boat down. And I actually saw a couple nice rainbows and they were all real close to the surface. And uh, as I was getting everything ready, I continued to see a lot of fish visibly on the surface of the water. And I don't know if they're up here uh, on the surface because there's a lot more light on the surface or what, but I'm gonna get reposition the boat a little bit. So I threw at them a little bit with a little 32nd ounce olive jig and I got them to chase, but I didn't, I purposely didn't catch anything because I wanted to catch them on camera. Uh, I'm not sure what the visibility up here is. It's not as it's not as bad as down lake. That's for sure. Uh, when they run water tomorrow, it's it's going to clean everything out. But until then, rainbows tend to be sight feeders, so it's a little hard to catch them in muddy water. Not impossible, but that's why I came up here as high as I could because I knew I'd find the clearest water I could. And that chop on the water just kind of picked up and not seeing, oh, there's one. Yeah, he's not very big, but. So I do this cast and a fast retrieve, stopping and starting. It's worked real good in the past. Fish hunt close to the surface. Get them to chase, and then when I stop it and it starts to sink, that's when they hit it. Nothing on the first cast. Oh, there's a whole bunch of them right there. Some of them are pretty nice. Yeah, Jason. I missed him. That was a nice fish, too. There I got him. Small one. Oop. Came off. A whole school of them out there. They're not a school of stalkers because I can I can see some of them are really nice fish. I can see him swiping at it.
just wonder if they'd hit a different color better. There's a real nice one out there. They're just swimming around. They're cruising around. Oh. Kind of neat. Ah, I hooked another one, a little one. Oh my gosh, there's a really big fish over here. I mean, he is big. I don't know what it is, or brown or rainbow. Oh, come on. He kind of went down. not him this fish was like a couple feet long I saw another one was over 20 inches when I first pulled up he was swimming over here to my right He's spooked though, I mean, he just kind of, he was swimming within a foot of the water surface and when he saw me coming over, he just kind of kept swimming, but he swam down like a submarine. He's probably gone somewhere now. Over here. Hmm. That would have been fun to catch. Seeing very many fish down here. Not on the surface, anyhow. So let's go back over here in the shallow side. Hmm. Well, that was cool to see him. If you would have stayed up just a k ten more seconds, I could have I could have thrown at him at least. What is going on with my line? It's hard to throw thirty-second ounce jigs sometimes.
Man. Oh, stalker. A oh, hole. Same on button. Maybe my hook's not very sharp. There's some fish right here. Missed one. Maybe I'll run into the, one of those big fish again here pretty quick. Gotta check my drag, it's a little tight. My grandson was messing around with it. Oh yeah. Took my grandson, grand two grandsons and a granddaughter fishing on Friday. And we just water one running. And we went up to um, around Shore Creek. Is that was and um, I went in the dock office there to pick up some night crawlers, and there was a bag of um, colored marshmallows in the refrigerator. And I thought, man, I hadn't fished with marshmallows in forever. So I took them, and uh, oh, I think I got a little loose. I took them and I baited the first hook with uh, with one, threw it out there for Owen, and he immediately caught a fish. And I ended up baiting the hooks, all the hooks, with marshmallows um, for a while, and uh, they worked really good. Of course, the fish were swallowing them almost every time. Did it again. I think it's because the rod tip is so whippy. Sometimes it catches that end of the rod when I'm casting. Um, ended up putting a piece of night, um, piece of um, marshmallow on first, and then putting a piece of night crawler on, and we caught some fish that way too. So that's. Uh, that's kind of the way we used to fish at night is with a marshmallow tip with a night crawler. So that kind of brought back memories.
wind was blowing me across. I'm going to mosey up here alongside the island. I got some fish back here. I can see them. Oh, that was a good fish. Wow. I saw a little one back there, but I didn't see him. That was a good one. I was kind of dragging it. Just letting the boat move and drag along. I never felt it. They're really not eating anything on the surface. I don't, I don't see anything hatching or flying around. They're really not eating. They're just, they're right on the surface, just kind of cruising around. I really do need to check the hook because it's. It's not bad. Just missed a lot of fish. You can only go up here so far in a boat and it gets too shallow to get through. There's not really, really a channel. Oh, you gotta pay more attention. I really need to use my stiffer rod. I think that's part of my problem when I go to set the hook with this rod. It doesn't have a lot of backbone. I'm not getting the hook set very well.
Okay, one more cast. I'm going to do something different. <laughs> Hit the bank. All right, I'm gonna try something different. I'll be right back. Okay, I'm gonna try black. Black 37 ounce. I've done really good using black in these conditions before. not seeing the uh, fish on the surface like I did a little bit ago when I first started. Oh, there are some little ones right there. I see some some movement over in this area and out here in front of me. See some fish moving around. Nothing very big though. Yeah, they're chasing it. Come on. Hmm. Come on, eat it. I can see them out there now. They're just a little deeper. They're just not chasing like they were before, so I'm gonna go back to letting it drop a little more. In the, there's a whole bunch of fish right there, looks like. Golly. Eat it. Stay back away from that. If I'm seeing right, it's a big, big school of fish. And he's spitting up scuds. I think those are fish. I just came through and caught one.
I think they moved. Ah, every time I start looking around, I'm still looking for that big fish. I'd love to see him again. I get bit. That was a bite. There's another bite. I missed him. Gosh. There are a lot of fish up here. Nice rainbow. I'm not net him. Well, yeah. There we go. Pretty rainbow. The nicest I've caught in a while. Couple more casts. This is the first really deep hole in the lake below the dam here at Lookout. It's known to hold some pretty big fish. Felt that one. Well, I'm going to call it quits after this fish. I will see you tomorrow. 
I'm going to fish a little bit longer, and if I catch that big fish, I'll put it on the end of one cast. But until then, I'll see you tomorrow. Thanks.